What's up guys, today we're going to build a radio. Uh, what you need to do first is get a piece uh, or a toilet paper roll and wrap magnet wire around it about a hundred times and leave the ends open and then sandpaper down the ends about an inch to expose the silver on each side here. Then put that aside. Okay, next you need a piece of aluminum foil. You want it as straight or as wrinkle free as possible. And you also need a paper towel roll. And what you want is the aluminum foil to be about half the size of the roll itself. Um, and then we're going to just tape it to the tube. And just like that. And then roll it and overlap it. Try to keep it as straight as possible. And then tape that down. And then you have that. Set that aside. Okay, next take a piece of paper, cut it again half the length of the toilet paper or the paper towel roll. Take a piece of aluminum foil, cut it smaller than the piece of paper, and then tape it to the paper with the edge overlapping on one end. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to tape it onto the roll but make sure that you don't tape it on this edge here. So wrap it around. It's going to be a little tricky. And then overlap it. And then tape this down. So now you have something that should look similar to this here. Okay, so what you want to be able to do is slide this up and down freely and the aluminum foil should never touch the other aluminum foil. That's what this paper is for here. So be sure to be able to slide this up and down and um, for this to work. Okay, next thing you want to do is you need a piece of cardboard and you want to punch out three holes on long one inch. Next thing we're going to take these paper holders and these right here and stick them one in each hole and then open them up and do that and all three So now you have this here. Okay, next thing you'll need to do is get a Schottky diode and have it right in between two of the pins here. And uh, you could either just wrap it around if yours has long enough wires or what I did, I just pinned them right in between the two clamps here and uh, push it through the hole. Now make sure you measure your holes because mine was a little bit too long. Um, too far apart and my diode wasn't long enough so I had to resize the hole. So now that you have that, I'll put that back down and you'll need a um, earphones uh, with wires on them. This is a little cheap one that I found. You could really use any one, any kind. You could probably even use a speaker. Um, but what we're going to do next is connect these to the uh, diode side and then to the other side as well. So, these are pre stripped, which is nice. Rip that off. Okay. So, move 
that apart here. All right, so wrap these wires around and then connect them. as well. Okay, and then push those back down so it's tight. Okay, so now what we have is we have um, earphones connected to one pin to another with a diode and then a diode to the other pin. Alright, let's move on to the next step. Okay, next what you're going to do is you're going to take some glue and bring your toilet paper roll back in and then just glue, put some glue on it. We're going to glue that onto the board here. Okay. So put that down about, let's see, right here. And let that dry. And do the same with the paper towel tube. Put glue on it. down okay now we're gonna let that dry okay now take some wire tape it to your coil here Oops. and then do it again with another piece of wire wires here and then you're going to connect it to the outer um, fasteners one here and then this one on this side those back down okay so now okay so next take the one wire from the coil here and connect it to the outer one again with the uh, diode and then also you need a, another wire and connect it to the same spot so also on this outer one going to be a little tricky because you're going to have a lot of wires connected to this. And then push it down again. So one end is going to be exposed. Then take this other end here and then connect it to this outer and then keep it out like this so you're gonna have it connected and then it's still gonna run out on the other end here okay so take a paper clip and then just open it up some just like this here and then take the other end of the wire here and just connect it to that that's gonna be your ground now remember the pieces that we uh, sandpapered off here you supposed to connect all both sides here you will need to do that because you need to get a connection that way. So now we have that. Okay, so we're actually pretty much done now. Uh, what you need to do um, is you're going to have this wide wire here at the end. This is going to be your antenna. So you could either hold it if you live close to a radio tower um, or um, hook it up to a piece of metal. So let's see what happens. Okay, so what you're going to have here is a Homemade radio. It actually works. Um, it's really hard to hear since I just got a he headphones here, but uh, it's it's pretty quiet and um, it's really just staticky. I can hear a little bit of voice in it. Um, what I need to do is take this and attach it to um, an antenna or a, a, a 
probably a, a hang like a shirt hanger or anything like that but it's very simple and you can use this here and slide this up and down and get more signal out of it as well and uh, it's like I said very simple make sure you have your diode connected these this needs to be grounded so if you get all this right you can actually make this work and like I said it's like if I'm gonna play around with it a little bit more maybe I can get some more um, sound going here and if I can I will hold it to the camera you probably won't hear it but if you don't believe me make it yourself it's very simple it does work um, it's very neat science fair project whatever you want to use it for uh, like I said all you really I think I need to do is just hook up this wire here for the which is the antenna hook it up to a piece of metal something big it'll get a lot more signal um, you can play around with it it will work it's actually it is working it's just not very strong signal and well, I live out in the country so I'm not getting a lot out of this but if you live in a city next to a tower or anything like that you're gonna get something out of this um, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, if you did um, please thumbs up subscribe share with your family friends don't forget about my giveaway $100 Visa gift card link in the description going until April 12th I believe so uh, keep checking in